Hey NFT community, we me back with yet another video and today we are going to take a look at the revoke function of etherscan.io. If you don't trust revoke.cash, you can easily use this site. To find the function on etherscan, you move your mouse to more on the upper right and then click token approvals. Once you see the Ethereum token approval, you can easily paste your ETH wallet address in here. For comparison, I choose the same wallets I showed in the revoke.cash video. You can see this wallet has some ERC20 approvals, which are the Lux Red token fee sharing right here. And on here, it's the wrapped either Wivan token transfer proxy, which is basically the usage of WEATH. Then we click on ERC721, which basically all NFTs are. And then you see the allowance for the tokens in here. What's cool on etherscan.io is you can see the last updated timestamp, so you can see when you sign the transaction. This wallet has two approvals for hatchlings, one for Luxware and one for ownable delegate proxy. If you click on this and open a new tab, you see basically nothing. But if you click on internal transactions, you will see that this one is the OpenSea registry. Go back to the approvals and you can also see there's one approval for the Loopy Donuts on Luxware. Now let's look at a compromised wallet. This wallet looks fine until the ERC20 token point, which is wrapped either. But if you click on ERC721 again, you see a lot of signings on this wallet. As we learned, these approvals are for OpenSea, but these ones look very sketchy. If you click on the wallet address, you get another window of the user scan. And in here you can see something is going on or a lot is going on. And if you click on comments here, you mostly will find some comments down here if this is a scamming wallet. Back to the token approvals, you see that you approved this wallet basically to spend all of your tokens and transfer it. To revoke those permissions, you would have to connect your wallet on Connect to Web3 right here, upper left, and then click on the revoke button. If you signed into a wallet, it looks like this with the connected and you can click on revoke. Once clicked, this will throw up a MetaMask transaction and you have to click revoke again. Then MetaMask pops up and you have to pay a small gas fee just to confirm that action on the blockchain and you have revoked that access to your tokens. Stay safe out there, guys.